Hey, I'm just hanging out with my biggest fan who wanted to join me for an episode of Tool Talk. Sup, bro? Hey, buddy. Thanks for being with me today. I really appreciate the company. <laughs> now, nine years ago, I showed you guys on an episode of Motors how to install an electric fan kit on my pickup truck. What I had to do is go in the engine bay and remove this huge and heavy fan off the front of the engine. It didn't make any sense being there because the engine worked so hard already, and now it's got to move this big, heavy fan on the front of it just to move air to try to cool itself. No, no, no. So I unbolted that and I put an electric fan in front of it. it actually has two fans. The end result of that is the engine had more power, ran cooler, and as a result of those two factors, it improved my gas mileage. It's by far one of the best performance mods that I've done to my vehicle to date, and it's still on my truck sitting outside. Now, Flexolite's the company that made that electric fan. They also make radiator fan combos, but they've expanded their product line to fans like this FlexiChill 3000 air mover that's sitting right next to me. Now this was originally developed for drag racing to cool those engines after a hot run on the drag strip. Now it has a whole lot of other applications, especially now with the heat of the summer. I bet you we can think of a whole lot of other fun things that we can cool down with this. So let's check this thing out. You can place it in front of a vehicle pointed at the radiator, or you can place it up in the engine compartment to cool down your intake manifold, turbos, or supercharger. I've actually had it for quite a while now, testing it out. Here are a few examples of how I've used it around my studio and around my home. I've used it primarily in my studio to keep me cool between takes. It's awesome for moving colder air inside. I've seen it reduce the temperature by 5 degrees in 10 minutes. I've used it to cool down my home by blowing the cool air in. This has a huge impact, especially during the evenings when the house seems to get super hot while the outside is still kind of cold. That cuts down on the amount of AC that we need. I've used it inside the house to move air out. I've used it to dry wet carpet on the floor. You can point it straight down for concentrated spot drying or up at the ceiling. It's great for DIY projects where you need fast drying of paint, grout, wall texture, adhesives, and whatever. The big difference between the FlexiChill 3000 and your typical box fan is not just the 2600 CFM, which blows them all away, but more specifically the bigger blade that gives you high velocity airflow that you can direct exactly where it's needed. The power draw, 2.7 amps or about 115 volts, won't overtax your system either. You can daisy chain them together or plug anything into its built-in low amperage outlet. It's got a 16 foot cord that's plenty long, I've never needed it to be any longer, and it easily wraps around the fan itself for easy storage. And it's got an illuminated power plug so you can quickly determine if you've got live juice right there at your outlet. It's got a variable speed on off switch that rotates so you can go from a low speed all the way up to the full 2600 CFM. Right next to the switch is an hour meter, which as you can see, I've already used it well over 30 hours. It's big, about 24 inches wide and almost 11 inches deep, but not too heavy, weighing in at 27 and a half pounds. It's easy to pick up and carry around with the built-in carrying handle. The stand is sturdy and has knobs on the side, so you can pivot the fan in any direction you like. I love that you can rotate it wherever the heck you want, from straight down to straight up, and very easily too. It's also super simple to clean. You just remove the four fasteners to get access to its belly, so you can clean the blade and the grill. Now this FlexiChill 3000 is built like a tank, and I'm serious when I say I keep it around and I use it all the time. It's the ultimate drying machine for your car, your home, your shop, or wherever. Now if you'd like to check it out for yourself, I got a link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next week for another one.